Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. It's been cool out there today. We got some folks to get a little sunshine. If you missed out today, don't worry. More will be coming right now on our Gibson City weather camera at Gibson Area Hospital and Health Services looking off to the north and west dry. Pavement looks dry as well. The rain is done for the night. No more showers expected in the area. Temperatures are a bit cool out there. They'll continue to slowly fall. We're at 35 in Champaign, Mattoon at 40, 38 in Springfield and in Jacksonville. Over the next couple of hours, we'll see that slow downward trend in temperatures and end up, I think, in the low 30s. Some of us will fall into the upper 20s tonight, particularly in the western half of the area towards I-55, where we've cleared out those clouds just a little earlier than those of us to the east. Quick check on some water tower weather for us. Here's a look at Gibson City. Shout out to my hometown there. Uh, tomorrow, starting out at 30, they'll get into the low 40s into the afternoon. Increasing clouds, showers holding off until late. Uh, let's take it down to Seidel, why don't we? This is where my mother's from. She is uh, born and raised in that area. They'll be at 45 tomorrow afternoon. An isolated sprinkle cannot be ruled out in Seidel, really area-wide, but the most of the rain looks to hold off until late. And then checking in in Auburn, where my dad is from, here in central Illinois, 47 for a high tomorrow. We'll expect more sunshine than not. Clouds will fill back on in. Again, the rain expected to hold off until later. Here's a quick check at Future Track. Notice that we go 1 o'clock. We're looking mostly dry. I think if we get some rain in here, what will happen is dry air at the surface will eat away at it. We may get a few sprinkles down to the surface. Think about what happened Friday. A few of those sprinkles came on in, and that may be the case. Better chances holding off until after sunset, where we see numerous to perhaps widespread showers into the Monday night. And you'll notice just a little bit of blue and purple trying to mix on in. That could be an indication that we may yet again get some small reports of some isolated pockets of sleet, maybe a few snow flurries out there. Not a whole lot of it, though. Don't expect any accumulation. Definitely no impacts. A vast majority of us will be left in a cold rain all Monday night into Tuesday. We will get a little drier time then as we go through the daytime hours on Tuesday. Rain, though, expected to fill right back in, in into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. We may have to deal with a few, few showers and even thunderstorms out there, although not expecting anything significant. Just wouldn't be surprising to hear a few rumbles of thunder the way the weather's looking here as we go into Wednesday morning and all day Wednesday, expecting to keep the rain in place before we dry out in time for Thursday. Here's a quick check at this first system coming on through. Again, just in time for Thanksgiving. We're dry on the backside. There's an indication as we go into uh, late this weekend, we may get another system sliding on through. A lot of low confidence as far as it is. We'll watch it closely. Certainly, we'll focus on this first system coming in over the next 48 hours. Quick check tonight. We are expecting temperatures down into the low 30s. Clouds will decrease tomorrow then. I do expect us to get those temperatures to climb back into the 40s out there. We'll watch it closely. There we go. Notice those clouds are increasing across the region. Clouds are increasing ahead of the chance for some rain as we go into Monday night and Tuesday. Showers are expected again into Wednesday. Notice we get up to 58. That may help get a little instability, giving us a few rumbles of thunder. No severe weather expected. And then as we go into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, even Sunday, the chance for rain is low to near zero. Just more so because not really confident what the next system is going to do. I will say this, though. It looks like it could get cold just beyond the seven day. It's still hard to believe it's November 22nd, and I have yet to see my first snowflake this this fall. You're right. Keep and I tell it that you what, way, right? I just I came from Oklahoma <laughs> where we had a big ice storm already before Halloween, so I'm done with winter already. So that's I'm not my... big on predictions, but something tells me it's coming before you know it. You know, it will be, but hey, spring will be right around the corner. Jacob, thanks.